The cracked multi-platform guitar features key jam mode. This mode makes your guitar function as a keyboard and mouse, opening up Fortnite Festival compatibility to Xbox One, Series X and S, and PlayStation 5. If you're playing native PlayStation games like Guitar Hero and Rock Band on PS3, or Rock Band 4 on PS4 and 5, we recommend not using key jam mode, but instead using P3 mode for a more seamless experience. Similarly, if playing on PC, we recommend using PC mode. This video is primarily about key jam, so we'll not be talking about how to do that here, but if you'd like that information, check out our technical guide for everything you need to know. With that out of the way, let's talk about how to set up key jam mode. To utilize key jam mode, you'll need to set your platform slider to PC, and your mode dial to 9. Once set, you can connect to your preferred platform. For a low latency experience, you can connect to both Xbox or PlayStation via dongle or a wired connection. You're also able to connect to PlayStation via Bluetooth, but Xbox doesn't support Bluetooth connections. If you want to connect via dongle, simply remove your dongle from its dedicated storage compartment and plug it into a USB slot on your PlayStation or Xbox. Turn your guitar on and it should automatically pair, but if not, hold down the button on your dongle until the lights rapidly flash and do the same with the pairing button on your guitar. When successfully paired, the lights on both the guitar and the dongle will become solid. To connect via wired mode, simply plug your cable into your guitar and the other end into your PlayStation or Xbox and you're good to go. Xbox doesn't support Bluetooth connections, but to connect via Bluetooth to your PlayStation 5, go into settings, scroll down to accessories, then click Bluetooth accessories. Once there, make sure your guitar is off. If it's on, hold down the mode dial for 10 seconds until the guitar turns off. With your guitar off, your mode dial set to 9 and your platform slider set to PC, Hold down the mode dial again until the LEDs on the guitar flash blue. While the lights are flashing, scroll down, and under Accessories Found, you should see Cracked Key Jam, click it, and select Pair. No matter which way you connect, you'll need to navigate to Fortnite with your controller before being able to use the guitar to navigate. Once you've opened up Fortnite, you can now use your cursor to navigate the menus. Using the right thumbstick that you can find next to the mode dial, you can move your cursor around and click. Once backstage, you can move around with your left joystick on your nav hub and aim with your right stick. We've included stickers for your nav hub and d-pad, so you can easily see what keyboard inputs your buttons are bound to. The guitar is set up to use the standard Fortnite Festival keybinds, so if you have custom keybinds, you'll either need to reset them or remap your guitar's inputs within the Cracked app. Be sure not to have any overlapping keybinds or it may cause issues. To rebind your guitar's keybinds, you must download the Cracked app. If you don't already have it, you can download it by scanning the QR code on the screen or by searching Cracked in your preferred app store. Once you have the app, you'll need to scan your guitar into your collection and go through the reveal experience. Once you've successfully added it to your collection, navigate to your guitar, press the control button in the app, and when prompted, hold the control button on your guitar for six to eight seconds until the LEDs on the guitar flash blue. It should now connect to your app and you'll be redirected to your control dashboard. Here you can access a bunch of customizable features. We will just be focusing on rebinding your guitar's inputs. While you're here, make sure your firmware is updated for the best experience. Once you're on the latest firmware, navigate to the Inputs tab. Here you'll see a visual representation of the inputs that you could rebind. We are working to add more customization options within the app, so your dashboard may have more options than mine is currently showing. Before adjusting any inputs, make sure your mode dial on your guitar is set to 9 for key jam mode. This should also be reflected at the top of your screen within the app. Once you have your mode dial set to the number that you like, tap on the input within the app that you'd like to customize. I will pick the green fret. When prompted, go back to your guitar and press the desired key that you'd like that input rebinded to. Click save and you're good to go. Repeat this process for every input that you'd like to rebind. If you ever want to reset your bindings, you could always hit the reset button within the app. Once you have your bindings remapped to how you like them, you'll need to rebind your endgame keybinds to match. To do this, navigate to your settings and click keyboard controls on the top of your screen. Once there, you can scroll down to the keybinds for the festival difficulty that you will be playing. For this example, we'll use the pro lead and pro bass section as it's the most extensive. Once there, to rebind, simply press A on the nav hub to select the input that you're rebinding, then press the input you want to rebind it to. For lane one, we'll do the green fret, lane two is the red fret, lane three is yellow, lane four is blue and lane five is orange. For overdrive, you can tilt your guitar or press the control button. They're both bound to the same input. When you rebind whammy, push down on your whammy bar and then strum down on the strum bar to map the strum down and strum up to map to strum up. Press apply and you'll be good to go. There's separate keybinds for the other difficulties. So if you're planning on playing those, you'll have to repeat this process for those difficulties as well. If you wanna reset your keybinds, you can always hit the restore to default button within your game. Once you have this all set up, you can select your songs, ready up, and you're good to go. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for all things Cracked. Thanks for watching, and welcome to the Cracked family.